Let me give you a very quick demo of the Oracle Data Modeler product that we'll be using henceforth in the course to draw entity relationship diagrams. Now, if you followed the instructions that I have posted on Blackboard to install the product, I assume that you've already installed it and possibly created a desktop shortcut. So now that the desktop shortcut is available, let's go ahead. The shortcut should look something like this. Let me go ahead and open up the product. So when I run the program, it says, do you want to run it? Say yes, run it. The, the full name of the product is Oracle SQL Developer Data Modeler. That's a mouthful, so I'm just going to call it Data Modeler for short. Now, when you open it for the first time, you will see a splash screen that comes up. So I would recommend just go ahead and close that splash screen. Uh, and then after you close the splash screen, your screen may look something like this. And when we draw entity relationship diagrams, we'll be drawing them in our logical model. So now in order for the logical model to appear, right click on this, right click and say show. So now you get a canvas and it is on this canvas that you're going to draw your logical model, logical entity relationship diagram. Using that, this product can actually convert it into a physical database design and so on that we won't be looking at that right now. Okay, so now that I have a logical design, uh, let us try and draw an entity relationship diagram just to get the idea of the mechanics of how this is done. Let me go ahead and create an entity type. So you just click on the icon and then click on the, on the canvas. And immediately the system is going to pop up a dialog asking you to give a name to the entity and also do other things. So I'm going to call this entity car. Okay, so in our example, we are going to have car, person as two entity types and the relationship is going to be that a person can have one or zero or more cars, but every car must belong to exactly one person. That's the simple relationship that we'll be creating here. So I call this entity as car and I say, okay, and immediately you can see the car entity type appears on our uh, canvas. But of course, this is not enough. We need to add attributes. So I'm going to go back to the earlier dialog. You can do that in one of two ways. You can double click this, it comes back here. Or you can right click on this and select properties and still it comes back here. Okay, so now uh, as you can see, this product is very fully featured. You can do lots and lots of different things, but we are going to be using it only to draw entity relationship diagrams, nothing else. So now let's go on to create attributes for car. So once you click on attributes, you see the screen and right now there are no attributes. Let's start off by creating one attribute. I click on the plus sign. I'm going to call this attribute car ID. And car ID is going to be the primary key for car. So I'm going to click on primary UID. Okay, primary unique identifier, primary UID. That's the primary key. So that's done. Uh, there are lots of other things which are going on in the screen. We're not going to worry about any of those things for now. Let's create the next attribute. So the moment I click plus, notice that car ID, all the information we entered is transferred here. The next at, I, uh, attribute I'm going to add is called, let's say the car's vehicle number, vehicle identification number, VIN number. And let's say the VIN number is a mandatory attribute. In other words, it's a required attribute. Okay, so notice that it's still showing attribute two, but the moment I click plus, with number would get transferred here. The next attribute I'm going to have is the model, uh, the make of the car, the brand of the car. This is also, let's say, a mandatory attribute. So I click plus, and finally, I'm going to say, what is the model of the car? And just for variety, let's leave this as an optional attribute. So when you're done with all this, click OK, and you now have this car entity type. Okay, now let's go ahead again and create the person entity type. Okay, in fact, this icon is already selected. So we could have just gone ahead and clicked it here. So I'm going to call this person. And this time, instead of exiting and coming back, 
the attributes. I'm going to directly create the attributes. I say attributes. I'm going to add the first attribute, person ID, make it the primary key, and let's create a first name, make it mandatory. Let's add one more, make that also mandatory. And let's just add one optional attribute. I'm going to call it height. And let's say that is not mandatory, that's optional. Okay, so once you've done that, you now see your entity types, the two entity types. Now let's take a look at how to create relationships. Right? Our relationship we already know is that a person can have many cars. Not the other way. A car does not belong to many people. A car can belong to at most one person, but a person can have many cars. Okay. Let's also assume that a person may also have no cars. It's possible there are some people with no cars, some people with one car, some people with many cars. But a car must belong to exactly one person. In other words, you can't have a car that doesn't belong to anyone. In our simple example, it must belong to one of the people no more, no less. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a one-to-many relationship. The icon is here. Click here. And because we are saying it's a one-to-many relationship, one person, so I click on person, can have many cars. Okay, so the direction, the source is one, the target is many. Okay, so you do that and as before it pops up with the name or with the dialogue and you can give names to relationships, but that's not important to us. It's important for other purposes. For now, we won't worry about it. Okay, so notice that it says source is person because we clicked on person first. Target is car because we clicked on that second. Okay, forget about all these things. And then it says source to target cardinality is many. In fact, person to car is many. One person can have many cars, so that's many. Whereas Target to source cardinality is one. One car can only belong to one person. So that's one. That's fine. Now how about the participation? Does every person have to participate in the relationship? No. We already said there are people who own no cars. That means those people are not participating in the relationship and therefore person has non-obligatory participation. And that's exactly what this checkbox is telling us source is optional okay it doesn't have to participate in the relationship target is not optional because every car must be owned by somebody so we remove this checkbox okay that means target has to participate in the relationship it doesn't there's no choice so we remove the optional checkbox okay that's pretty much it there are other things we'll come back here and look at but for now this is good enough okay so we see here person car one person can have many cars but each car can must belong to one person how do we know must because this is solid it says every car must participate in the relationship every person need not participate in the relationship okay so that's how you draw a simple entity relationship diagram here using the Oracle data modeler okay now before we leave this, let's take go back into person, uh, into car. Right? Remember we said in a one-to-many relationship, the primary key of the entity on the one side is always an attribute of the entity on the many side. However, we have not shown person ID as an attribute in car. Why? Because we want to avoid clutter. However, let's go into the attributes of car and take a look sure enough person ID is shown as an attribute we didn't add this because of the one-to-many relationship the Oracle data modeler automatically added this attribute in fact you won't be able to delete it the only way to delete the attribute is to actually go into the diagram and delete the relationship that only then the attribute will get deleted because it's an implicit attribute that actually represents the relationship Okay, so that's just a way to show you the foreign key. And so person ID is a foreign key in car. 
okay so that's just a very brief introduction to uh, how to use the oracle data modeler i've I, you know, I've posted a handout on Blackboard that tells you how to install the product and also how to use it for certain purposes. To draw the diagram, certain kind of diagrams, I've shown a detailed example and so on. So take a look at that as well if you haven't already done so.